What's up guys, Specstar here today, and I hope you enjoy my crazy shower hair, which right before I started recording, I frantically started flicking up because it was hanging down too far and I looked like a goth with the awful bangs I had. So now I look like I stuck my head into some kind of automated feather duster. And uh, yeah, well, enjoy the show. I guess I'm not bothered to fix this crap right now. Anyway, I got my last battle of MPL, and no, it's not week 10, it's week 9, and um, week 10 we were supposed to play Trev, um, in his defense he contacted me and he said he was willing to play the game, um, but uh, he, he has family issues going on and I told him just to handle those and forget about the game, so there's no week 10, there's just this week nine game here against Adam and he's got himself a team consisting of Oricorio, Sneasel, Mega Kanga, Tapu Fini, Bronzong, Shaman, and oh boy I don't even have my <laughs> I don't even have my team builder open. Alright, let's get this. Uh Metacham was Um a Drain Punch. I had Drain Punch, I know that. I had Psycho Cut, which hit Nido Queen, which didn't come, and it also kind of hit Tapu Fini. Um, I think I might have had... I know I had Bullet Punch. I, my last move... No idea. No, no clue. Yeah, I do not. I'm not gonna remember that one. I don't think. Maybe it'll come up in this battle, and then, <laughs> then we'll see. Um, but next up, I got a set which I absolutely remember because it is a piece of art, a beauty. I call it my Mona Lisa. My Celesteela has uh, quite a bit of attack investment, quite a bit of speed, and also quite a bit of HP. None of those three are max. I've kind of got to balance accordingly where I need it. My item is Citrus Berry, and for moves, I got Substitute, Leech Seed, Atomize, and he nope, Acrobatics. And this is a bit of an interesting set. Um, I was just kind of looking at ways Celesteela could sweep his team. Um, and. I knew that uh, if I had seeds on this thing, that Bronzong, which I wouldn't, I wouldn't really touch with too much unless I wanted to put Flamethrower on an Antotomize physical set, which would just kind of be a little weird for it, not really worth it. With seeds, I can kind of keep up my health and get free setup with my subs and with Antotomize with it not being able to break them. And he did not have much at all to take the acro aside from Zong, which was set up fodder, and Oracorio, which interestingly came and came in electric, which actually did make this a little bit more complicated to do. Um, and yeah, <laughs> that's my set there. Uh, I, I knew there'd be some subbing up to do, and, and um, no item didn't make as much sense as being able to replenish some of my health with the citrus and allowing me to sub up more freely. Latios is gonna be, it's gonna have Culper Berry, Hidden Power Fighting, just ready to catch that Sneasel. I had Ice Beam, which doesn't do too much here. Um, kind of Shaman, not much else. I believe I had Roost on it, and then Draco Meteor in the last slot, if I'm not mistaken. Titar. Titar, I believe, was Scarfed Physical. Physical Scarf with Stone Edge, Crunch, Earthquake, Superpower, don't quote me on that. I think that was it though. <laughs> Toxapex, which is going to be physically defensive with Black Sludge, pretty sure. Dub Trio, which is Bandit. Alright, I think we got this good a damn enough. Good a damn enough for having forgotten to get the team builder up. Alright, let's get this show on the road. I'm going to lead off with Steela, because uh, I thought he had a very good chance to lead off with Bronzong, and I was ready to capitalize on that right the hell away. He's just going to lead with Sneasel. Um, I could beat that, 
but uh, I don't I don't want to let my seal get knocked off that early, and I don't want it to get weakened that early. He actually goes into Oracorio on the Steela as I go into my packs, and I will then go right into my Titar on the Oracorio. I'm just going to go right for my Stone Edge. He's actually going to have the Chardy Berry, which is pretty interesting, and it's going to let it take the hit. He'll go for Hidden Power Fighting, which will do quite a bit, considering it's Hidden Power. He's then going to go into his Bronzong. I'm just going to click another Stone Edge. He should have stayed in, though, because who lands Stone Edge twice in a row? Couldn't be I. <laughs> um, but now with Song, and I'm going to go into my Steela just to find out that he is a Charge Beam set. Not doing too much, but also not letting me stall this out completely. So there was a little bit of a plot twist. And I am just going to go for my seeds here. And he goes for another charge beam. Gets a, a boost here. And uh, I'm actually going to consider between um, potentially sub-stalling this thing out where uh, I would eventually beat the Bronzong, but I would lose a lot of my Steela in the process. Or I could uh, kind of risk the rest of my team since I don't switch in too comfortably on this. Something's going to get jacked up if I do switch out, and that's kind of a risk I have to weigh with myself. Um, and I will decide to switch in my T-Tar, not subbing up again. And Adam here is going to make me a very angry person by going for his gyro ball here. Because I know at this point that if, if I stayed in with my Celesteela, I would have been able to... Had my sub up, take the gyro ball, I would have been able to autonomize up and then stall it out with subs. And now I'm boosted, or Corio is not in range to take a hit. And Celesteel would have been potentially able to sweep his whole team there with my special set I cooked up just for this. And I'm angry at him for clicking the gyro ball when I was so close to just winning with my set right there. But uh, it was not meant to be, at least not yet, as my T-Tar goes down. Um, losing T-Tar wasn't the end of the world. He brought a more bulky team than a speedy team. T-Tar helped against the speedier team. I go to Metacham, Kelkit, Bronzong can't take me out with anything based on what I've seen from his set. And I will just fire off Drain Bunch here. Get a little bit back with seeds. I'm pretty sure the Feeny play is a little bit obvious here, so I'm going to go for a Psycho Cut. Get some damage off on it, depending on its set, how much I can do. Uh, I don't get too much, but not a bad amount either. I'll go into my Toxapex, my Sexy Pexy, to check this thing out and see what it's doing. Toxapex always just kind of the safest bring in on it. Especially with sand up and the thing not seeming to have leftovers, Pex is in a good position against it. That's going to be my opportunity to get up Toxic Spikes there, which do look pretty nice against his team. Of course, depending on his ability to defog them off, although getting Infini for free, not easy for him. And he would need to have both Taunt and Defog to prevent me from just being able to reestablish them. But he'll, he'll bring in the Bronzong to calm mind up. Bronzong... I run Calc because it was not going to take out Pex ever, so I'm just able to click Knock Off twice here and take the thing out. Um, I will say, as much as I hate him for flaunt for <laughs> flashing that Gyro Ball and flaunting my ability if I had just subbed up to potentially get my Dream Sweep there, but uh, the Bronzong set really did uh, put me off guard. His uh, the unusual nature of it, and I was not prepared to be able to switch around on that thing, so uh, kudos to my boy Knees there, Mr. Knees, whatever you call him. He then brings out his Oracorio. I'm going to go into my Latios, which is my best switch in on it at this point. He is going to go out into his Tapu Fini, and I am going to... I did some here. I went for my Psychic, right? And I will take down the Fini. The it will go down. He goes into Sneasel. I'm gonna predict a pursuit here or even a knock. Instead, he goes for the icicle crash, not messing around with the, any potential for the Colbert Berry, or 
and risking me being able to switch out, it's going to work out for him. I will then bring in my Celesteela, try to get off my Totemize here and threaten him, uh, do what I what I can with it. He's going to go into Oricorio here as I click my Acrobatics. Not doing quite enough. I would have needed high rolls on... Well, I guess I would have needed a max roll on one and a high roll on another, or just two high rolls to take the thing out. Not going to be so fortunate as I will lose my Celesteela there, but it's now going to be in range of my... Oh, I didn't need to... I do have Bullet Punch. Didn't need to click it there because I knew I was faster than the Oricorio. He brings in Shaman. Uh, I'm not really sure why. Medicham was kind of the best of the three Pokemon I had left to be in on Shaman. So I will Drain Punch the thing, and it will put me just out of range of his Psychic. Uh, another Drain Punch will take him out, and I'll be just about at the health I was before Shaman came out. Now he's going to bring in Sneasel. I'm in range of Ice Shard, so I'm going to have to go into my Pex here. He goes for the Shard. Not doing too, too much. Well, not doing much at all, <laughs> frankly. Um... And here I'm just going to go for my, what did I click, Scald, Knock Off, something like that, <laughs> Recover. Okay, I guess I was being a safe Sally there, or whatever you wanted to call it. And here he is going to Mega Evolve and click Facade, which is interesting, as I will click my Scald here, I believe. P-Jab, that's what I had. All right, I didn't have Scald, I had P-Jab. All right, um, here I'm going to switch out my Metacham. Uh, brief explanation on that play. Of course, I couldn't let him take down my Pex because then Sneasel would be in a good position to finish the game for him. Actually, I'm not sure if Ice Shard would have took down Doug Tree. I don't. I didn't run that calc. Uh, certainly, with a crit, it wouldn't. And I'm looking for a 100% chance win. And um, my play here is going to Metacham. If this thing did have Sucker Punch, Metacham was not certain to take it out, and Metacham certainly would lose to Sneasel, whereas Dugtrio would certainly be able to revenge kill this thing with an Earthquake, a Banded Earthquake here, if Metacham went down. If Dugtrio comes in, revenge kills this thing for sure, then Sneasel comes in, and Pex would for sure be able to win me the game at the end. And that's my thought process here, trying to sack off Metacham. Instead, he goes for a wish here, so now my play becomes to go hard for Metacham into Dugtrio. Um, so basically, uh, there's a few things here. If he had Sucker Punch, he clicks it and Dugtrio gets in for free. He doesn't do damage. If he doesn't have a Sucker Punch, then after Dugtrio dies, I'm able to bring in Metacham and for sure get a KO then for sure Pex wins. And I'm just kind of running these boring thought processes through my head as I'm playing in the game here. But now that he's shown Wish, my play is to go out into... No, I went into Pex first. My bad. Pex also was just a different way to scout for the Sucker Punch. But now I will go into Doug Trio as he goes for the Wish. And I'm going to click my Earthquake here, lock into that, nothing else I would want to lock into. He's going to show us Power Up Punch, but that is all four of his moves, and he does not have any priority, which means I am pretty much set here, pretty good. Doug Trio will be able to take the thing in range of where the poison will kill it, and the Kang will go down here. Now, Sneasel's all that's left, and I know Pex will be able to dispose of that guy. And he will go for an Icicle Crash, uh, take about 50 flinches, and he does not have 50 flinches to go for here. So he will drop the Sneasel, and I will win 2 nothing here. And um, that's going to wrap it up, so I will finish the season... Oh god. I'm trying to remember my differential. I know my record is 7 and 3 final. Don't know my differential. Oh. Uh, I think my differential is 12. I think it's 12. 
plus 12, of course. I could be wrong, but... <laughs> well, it's been an interesting season, at least the game-wise. Um, the inner drama things that have happened... I mean, you say drama, you're gonna be, it sounds like people are arguing shit. That's not what happened. Uh, there's just been um, issues. The leader has had... Uh, He's had family issues he's had to attend to, and then shit hasn't really been run in the majors division, so things have gotten very far behind, and if we didn't know what the hell was going on for a while, at the end we just kind of pieced things together a little bit just to get things wrapped up, and uh, now playoffs will be starting a week later than minors, but I guess better late than never. And my first matchup will be against Shuckle King, so that should be an interesting one. Um, certainly one of the better players that are remaining in majors right now, so uh, definitely an interesting matchup to have, particularly since it's not someone we face in the season. Hopefully it goes not like the three games I've dropped this season to Hacks, which is... You know, I got a little bit of a stick in my ass about it, and, <laughs> and that's the truth of the situation. Um, if I do lose, I want him to just fucking blast me away. None of that random number generator bullshit. I would like to get thoroughly ass blasted. That is the preferred way to lose. If it ain't an ass blast, I ain't in for the party. That's just all I'm going to say about that. So, I want to thank you guys for watching. Have yourself an ass blast day.